Hey, how you doing? First things first, this is Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. Um, today we're going to be doing a paint on demonstration. Now, this is a very fast paint on demonstration. We've done these many, many times before, uh, painting our applications on just about everything you possibly think of. And one of the wonderful things about our product is you don't have to worry about putting on multiple coats of screen paint in order to apply one screen. No one wants to sit there and apply screen paint at the screen paint at the screen paint just to have one screen, actually just to paint one screen. So in this demonstration, we're gonna do a short, actually fast, short demonstration. We're gonna paint this onto the surface right here, be done with it, and, we're, and that's, that's what's going to be finalized from there. Now, uh, this right here we're gonna be painting today will be our uh, final, final uh, uh, phantom, sorry, final phantom. This will be the black final phantom, the advanced ambient light rejection 21. We'll be painting to the surface right here. It's just a basic surface uh, coated with some everyday basic screen paint. We're gonna be painting over this and turning this into a black OLED screen in no time at all without the requirements of four coats or four applications in order to paint your screen. Also too, at the end of the day, like I said, when it comes to our products, you wanna know you're getting a 100% screen. Keep in mind our products have been tested against black screens, black screen paints and so forth to show that our products do stand out and do not have any form of affiliations or matching any such thing as in paints and so forth like that. Where other screens cannot seem to back their products when it comes to these very serious tests. All right, so let's begin. Uh, we're gonna start painting the screen in. We're gonna be using a basic nine inch nap roller. That's all you need. There's no up and down robot formation or no complicated, excuse me, instructions. None of that nonsense. We're just gonna paint over the surface and be done. That's it. All right, so let me get my camera here just a little bit. Let me get the screen in there. There we go. And show you how fast it's gonna take us to paint this in. In no time at all. Make sure we got that over here like so. All right, that's right. Make sure we're in the camera shot. Let's see, see if that's better. Oops, I'm knocking over my fan. There we go. All right. So let me see if we got it right there. Okay, that should be pretty good. All right, so really easy. One coat application, that's it. Shake it up. That's basically about it. We're gonna be painting on the black screen today. You don't have to paint a line across the screen. It doesn't have to be approximately three inches wide. None of that nonsense. Just put the paint down and be done. That's it. Of course, on the paint. That's it. Red roller. What I like to do is I like to get my edges. So I'll paint my edges first. stuff has extremely good coverage. You don't want to be adding on four coats of paint for one screen due to the fact that I wouldn't trust that on a motorized projection screen because motorized projection screen you don't want too many coats on that because you could mess around and damage the motor. So you don't want to go through that nonsense. And if you're painting a large screen of 120 inches you don't want to go Every time you gotta paint the screen, you gotta add in an application, let that dry, then add in another application. Not to mention, if it's gonna require, if it's gonna require four coats or four applications, that means each time you gotta put in an application, you're gonna to have to wash out your roller or just have about four rollers on you. Or if you're spraying it, that means every time you're gonna to have to go in and you're gonna to have to clean out your paint cannon every single time. So nobody wants to go through that. That's a headache. At the end of the day, that right there is a complete headache. Nobody wants to go through all that just to paint a screen in. about it and we're finished. 
Well, let's see. No, none of those. I don't. I don't understand the fact that putting in a straight line all the way across. It's paint. You got to be able to spread it across your screen regardless. I don't know what all that's about. It sounds like a bunch of foolishness. Get my corners, as I like to do. Like I said, very easy to apply on. Excess paint off. That's it. Let's go around your side. That's it. And that's what I'm going to do. Make sure I trip everything and kill myself. So we're done there. That's finished. We're going to take our screen. We're going to hang it up against here. Just lay it against the wall. That's it. Finished. That's it. That's how fast it took us to paint the screen. We we're done. That's the other one over there, the black screen over there we just did. And that's basically about it. Now, when I painted this on the surface right here, we have this kind of loose. That's basically about it. It's just a test surface. But it's just to show you how fast we can just paint it to the surface and be done. All right, as far as the projector. My controllers upstairs. Will actually start to dry. If it dries, it's going to get lighter.
and show you how fast we can actually paint the screen in no time at all. While the screen is still wet, it's still going to display a nice bright image. But as it actually dries, it's going to get brighter and brighter. An adapter on my PS4. I have to order a new one. It's a little bit damaged. Need to get a new one. I'm gonna order one right after this demonstration. There it is. There's the um, that's our final Black Phantom 21 using our advanced ambient light rejection technology. And as I said before, down in here, this is we call this the uh, meter max out zone due to the fact that meters do not pick up down here. That's how much light this area gives off. So I'm gonna put my meter right over here on the floor to show you exactly how much ambient light that we have down there. There's my meter right there. I'm gonna turn it on and show you that it goes right there, and maxes out right from the door. That's because the lighting we have down here, we're using high power fluorescent lights and they cause the meter to actually max out. Now I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna cover over the meter right here my hand and you can see it's reading take it away and it's gone cover it up take it away and it's gone meters don't read down here due to the fact that as I said before that this area is using a ton of ambient light actually more ambient light than I've seen in any demonstration on YouTube let's move my screen out a little bit here let's move it out a little bit so, put a little too much paint. We don't have to put a lot of paint when it comes to this, this screen paint. It's very easy to apply, as I said before, you know. And it's not going to take three or four coats to apply the screen. At the end of the day, nobody wants to do that. No one wants to be applying three or four coats of paint just to paint one screen. You want to paint it the first time and be done with it. That's what you want. You don't want to be on there putting four coats onto a surface. That means that surface has to dry every time in between each coat, it's gonna to have to dry. And if you're using rollers, you're gonna to have to wash out the same roller four times. You know how hard it is to wash out a paint roller? I'll show you, I'm gonna wash these out in a few minutes and show you everything that goes into actually washing out a paint roller and cleaning out a paint cannon. Over here is really dirty. Oh, it says be dirty. That's the way it's going to be. This is what you're going to have to. Unless you're going to buy four rollers and use those four rollers, other than that, you're going to be washing out that same roller over and over again. And you're going to have to clean it thoroughly because you don't want to make sure you have no cross contamination. That's why screen paints that require you to do four applications to paint one screen is a waste of time. All right, so while that's drying over there, let's go over here and show you what you're going to have to go through now. This is my paint roller right here. I'm sure we gotta go through to wash this out. Yeah, this is my dirty zone area for cleaning and washing my stuff out. All right, so we're gonna pull the paint roller off. See, it's nice and saturated with a lot of paint. We're gonna come over here to the sink and we're gonna start rinsing it out. So you're gonna have to wash that roller clean. It's still going to be covered with a lot of paint. It helps if you put some soap on it, a little bit of soap that breaks it up a little better. But other than that, if you only got one roller, this is what you're going to have to go through every single time to wash it out. 
So you're going to have to squeeze all the excess dirty paint, or the paint, that, not the dirty paint, the paint you still have in the roller, because you don't want that cross-contaminating your screen. And this is what you're going to have to go through when you're using a screen paint that requires four applications. You're going to have to do this four times. Now I wash my rollers out all the time, but I'm only painting the screen one time and that's it. All right, so that's fairly good right there. Squeeze out all the excess water out of it. And soap, because you're going to have soap in there too to make sure you put soap on it. And make sure you clean your soap out. And then you're going to have to go in, take a dry rag and go over top of it. Dry it out with the rag. Get all that water out of there because that water could seep into your screen all over again. See right there, we still got to rinse it out because there's still soap in there. So this is what the headache you're going to go through when you're dealing with a screen paint that requires you to put in four applications. Or you can just go in and just use four rollers. You have to waste four rollers on that. Now, if you're using a paint cannon, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to come here each time when you paint your cannon out. You're going to remove your top area here. The nozzle part here. Your cup. You got to remove the nozzle with the hose. And then you got to come in here and you have to remove. This is the one that actually controls your paint. Another attachment. Here you got to get that out of there. And you got to do this four times unless you have four of these paint sprayers laying around which are this one costs about 60 bucks which that's 120 bucks for two of them that's 240 dollars you're going to need to paint that screen not our screen other screen paints that require you to do four applications so after you get done cleaning all this out washing out your paint save this save paint inside of this washing this out Clean everything down. Flushing out your hose so there's no paint in there. Cleaning out your cup. You're gonna have to shake all that out. Scrub this out real good. This is gonna have to go back together and you'll have to do this every single time when you're dealing with a screen paint that requires you to do four applications on the screen. That's what you're gonna have to go through every single time. All right, now we got to put this back together. Right here, let me see. There's a little nodule in there. There we go. We have to put this back together each time. I have got the top part. Make sure that's pressed down nice and tight in there. And then do this. So this is what you're gonna have to go through if you're using a paint sprayer and you have to apply this to a screen that requires four paint on applications just to paint the screen, that's what you're gonna to have to go through. Every single time you paint that screen. And think about it, that's gonna be four cans of paint. Four cans of paint for each application. And that's only up to 100 to 120 inch screen. Now, the containers we have here, we call these are the big 48s. The big 48s can paint a screen size up to 150 inches. One coat application, that's it. No priming, none of that nonsense, no sanding, unless you got giant grooves in your wall. That's the only way. Dries fast, low odor, low VOC, wash this off with basic hot water and soap, or warm water and soap, and you're done, that's it. Fully weatherproof, ultra short though compatible. There you go, our screen is practically almost dry. Four K demonstrations. Now we're a little wet up in here. The screen's so dry. Where's dark at? It's still a little wet. Right there, it's dry. And it just shows you how fast it took us to paint that screen. The rest of it's drying in. So anywhere where it's dark, that means the screen's still wet.
And as you can see, we're doing this in a fully lit environment. This is not in a dark environment, as you can see. And the screen is black, not dark gray. This is Aries right here, but we're still wet on the screen right here. As you can see, over there we're dry. So as it starts to dry, the screen gets brighter and brighter. demonstrations I'll see a screen that's claiming to be black doesn't even match the speakers at all That's how fast it takes us to paint the screen. No time at all. I've done quite a lot of paint on demonstrations. And we do paint on demonstrations with these all the time. Paint and dry demonstrations with those black screens all the time. With larger screens like so. But yeah, if you have to do four applications to paint one screen, that means if you have one roller, you're going to be washing that roller out four times. You're going to have to get all that paint, all that soap out of it. Unless you're going to go through a pack of rollers, which means you're going to go through four rollers just to paint a screen. One screen. If you're using a paint sprayer, that means you're going to be cleaning your paint sprayer out four times just to paint the screen. Or you're just going to have, or you're going to have four paint sprayers for each application. Mind, there's going to be a drying time in between those applications also. Show you the angle gain on the screen, why it's soaking wet. See how beautiful it looks. And this is being used in a room, as I said before, where the meter is maxed out.
the screen is pretty much dry. And that's how fast it takes to paint the screen. No time at all. Now my projector sits about 12 feet from the screen. I don't like to use ultra short throw projectors in my demonstrations. As I said before, ultra short throw projectors are sitting right up on top of the screen. There's hardly any distance throw whatsoever. In order to test the screen, really test the screen, they must be done on ultra short throw projectors. Sorry, must be done on long throw projectors. Because long throw projector, the farther you have the projector back, how much light you have in the environment, the distance throw. I need to see if my have a lot of light in this environment, if my projectors uh, lumens are gonna get eaten up by how much light we have in the environment. Can the screen still maintain a picture? This is very easy to do when you're doing ultra short though because the projector sits so close to the screen. Now, if you're watching a projector of an ultra short throw and the image is washing out and looks really bad, at an ultra short throw, that is not a good sign. It means that long throw is gonna be even worse. So that's all it took to paint the screen, fast, quick, anybody can do it. When you have a lot of ins detailed instructions and you have to put on multiple applications, this becomes confusing to the consumer and this is something people don't want to have to deal with. Like people don't want to have to deal with calibrated projectors at the end of the day. If you're being told that you have to use a calibrated projector in order to get a beautiful color and contrast, yeah, uh, bit of a, it's, got, it's a headache at the end of the day. They want something, people want something you can paint Hit it with your 720p projector that costs you 270 bucks and looks fantastic. At the end of the day, we don't have to rely on expensive projectors to make the screen look great. Let's go over here and let's grab something else. Let's see what we got over here. Let's go over to Philips 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. Let's go over to, uh, let me see. We can do the bright colors. I like doing the bright colors on here. Now I have the sound bar there. And the reason why I have it there is because I said before, when you're looking at a screen that's supposed to be black, it should be matching the speakers. I've seen quite a few demonstrations where the screens were claiming to be black screens, turned out to be dark gray screens, they couldn't even match the speakers. And that's something you have to be careful. You make sure you're getting a black screen at the end of the day and not a gray screen. Same thing when it comes to some of these gray screen paint products out here or other products. That test where you have to do against screen uh, everyday paints, that's something that's very important because at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you're actually getting a real screen and not everyday house paint. So that's something that's very important. Below, I will actually list our test demonstrations against the uh, gunmetal and other screens we have done, including the black screens, showing our demonstrations against black fabric, against black paint, and so forth, showing that our products do not match any form of household paints that pretty much the consumer himself or herself can go down and make themselves. All right, let's go over and grab ourselves another demonstration from there. Let me see what we got going on in here. Let's go with um, 4K snow screen savers. Getting that from YouTube. Let's grab this one. Put this in there. Here we go. There's our white levels right there. Skyworth food demonstration. Getting that from YouTube.
drying. Come in here and just disconnect our fan, put things back in order in here. Any angle we turn, nice and bright. This technology has amazing, amazing white levels. Panasonic 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. Let's get some updates about that completely wrong. Panasonic 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. And they still spelled it wrong. Panasonic OLED 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. That's a little better. And you're determined to give me that video. Or that, whatever I selected, I don't know what it was, something strange that popped up. Kept requesting the same thing over again, I just wasn't listening. Now, I want to make something crystal clear so we can all have an understanding. We uh, do have a promotion on the website. Um, when you order a gallon of the uh, Phantom technology, you will get a free fire stick with your orders. It's only with the gallons only. And a few people asking us, this is coming with the other, the other screen paints. No, it doesn't. It only comes with the gallon size only of the uh, Phantom. Now, when you go in to order the Phantom, keep in mind, you click on the shopping cart, an option will come down asking you what color you want. This is a free color option. Just let you know, you're not charged for this at all. You can have this in the gunmetal black slate, the deep red, or you can have this in the black, which we have right here. But if you're interested in the free fire stick, which I'm using right here, I have quite a few fire sticks. Um, this is available with the gallons only. Okay, so anything else I got to clean up in here while I'm down here. I decided to do this short demonstration and have a customer in a few minutes who just asked me about how fast it would take to paint the screen in. Like I said, at the end of the day, no one wants to hear that you have to paint a screen with four applications of screen paint. And it has to dry in between each coat. You want something you can paint fast, paint it quick, and you don't have to, and people don't want something that's going to be a headache at the end of the day. No calibrated projectors, no dark environments, if you don't want to be in a dark environment. And as you can see by our meter readings, right there, we are maxed out. Using more light than any YouTube demonstration I've seen so far. And all this light, our screen is still maintaining its contrast level and beautiful colors at the same time. Anytime I do a paint off demonstration, I like to show the final results. I don't like doing demonstrations where you paint the screen and there's no final results. 
Usually I go through that with motorized projection screens. It's easier if I had the motorized screen hanging up because it's easier for me to do the demonstration from there. But unfortunately when I have them laying down, can't do the demonstration, but I do like to do them. If I have a chance, I would like to display the first beginning and then final. Some brighter colors in here, over here. Okay, well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Let me show you the model number of my projector I'm using the demonstration. There we are, Chrissy uh, LW401. That projector right there is a 720p projector it's a very old projector it was discontinued in 2014 and my price tag for that projector was only 270 dollars so it sits in the factory settings not even not even calibrated no calibrating required when it comes to our technology and that's why i like to do these demonstrations on the long throws into the ultra short throws ultra short throws sit too close to the screen i mean like i said for my opinion if i'm doing demonstrations I don't want to use ultra short throws. I don't want to depend on them because, like I said, it's something that has a very short distance throw, and you really can't get an idea of how good your screen is when you have a projector that's literally sitting that close to the screen. This is on our black screen right there. Walk around again and show you the angle before I sign off. Here, show the different angles. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. I have to go and God bless.